What's up, guys, and welcome to episode 5 of my creative club, Caramel with ZM Cohetes. Last episode, we won our very first piece of silverware, the um, Spanish Super Copa. The team is looking really well. I mean, everybody is over an 80 already, and we have a really good attack. And then the, our defense also shaping up. Our first match against Valencia, I'm not making any changes to the starting 11. I'm going all out, and I'm going to be playing both attack and defensive highlights because. I actually prefer that so let's see if we're going to be able to come out on top so honestly i'm not entirely sure if we have lost to valencia before i think we mostly won and then we've drawn one of the matches i'm not sure though. i hardly ever remember stuff like that but i don't think that we have lost to them so if i just get my share right we should be able to do something here and no one is there we give to fonteca what the hell bro and that was that was still a good way to improvise. And then we have a solo run for ZH. And let's just hope that Fonteca and German are going to help him out here quick enough. Cause uh Alright, so now nah, the pass wasn't the pass wasn't good enough. So we've lost the opportunity. Now they have a corner kick in the 42nd minutes. We just have to defend this and make sure we get our next attacking opportunity. Alright, so Locatelli deals with that, but it goes straight to their to their defender. We're in the second half already, so we have to hurry up and get our, ourselves a goal. Why is Fonseca all the way back here? What the hell? Okay, that was this is bad. Evandre was able to hold that. This is our last chance, to be honest. This is our last last chance. And come on. Thank you. Thank you so much. I finally was able to get that attack on where I passed the German and he immediately gives a through lob straight to Fonseca and I finally was able to do that. We have one more opportunity and I don't think the chance is here anymore. So I'm just going to try anything literally. Okay. What can German do here? And they were saved by the keeper. That should be the end. 1-0 to Valencia is a good result. I, I'm, I'm okay as far as we win the match. Fonseca gets the goal. A really good goal at that. We were the better team. We defended really well. We attacked really well. Even though we are just able to get one goal, I'm still really good with the results. Next up, we're away against Real Valladolid. Rise and Kudus are coming in for ZH and Kallenberg respectively. I'm going to be simming the match though. And let's hope that we are able to get this away win. And we do. Locatelli and James get the goal for the club. Next up, we have UD Las Palmas. And just like that, we are out of the Copa de España. In the the, the first freaking round that we lost in penalties against the Las Palmas, 5-4, that sucks. Then back in La Liga, we have a home match against Granada CF. And we drew the match 1-1, it's quite annoying though, but really nothing we can do. Next up, we have Athletic Club, no changes at all to the starting eleven, and I'm going to be playing both attacking and defensive highlights. First of all, we're playing in our home stadium this episode, and it's supposed to be way better for us. We're supposed to get more opportunities. Let's hope that we actually do, and let's hope that we actually end this match in a really good way. Hopefully, another clean sheet like that. Okay, we start our attack here, and I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Uh, we still have the ball, that's good. And let's see if Fonteca can do something from far, and that's the very fucked up, fucked up chance, and it's going just like that free kick for our team and it's reset on the ball i think i'm just going to change the calendar just for safety reasons and okay it's an it's an outswinger and i'm looking at fonseca right now so let's hope that he can actually okay, it doesn't go all the way to him it goes to reset who is the legit shortest person in the freaking team is donovan there donovan is not there it's just the attackers that are there that's that sucks so i'm just going to try and get this into james and let's hope that Okay, he actually got to batch and that was the, that was a really good header but now we have a solo run is this german or fonteca that have the ball if it's fonteca if it's german i might have to find a way to give it to fonteca because it's one of one is really really bad so fonteca is just the better option whenever i come to this one oh my days it was 86 minutes how the hell did this match go by so fast wow i had i had literally no idea that the match had gone that fast but i mean that's a, that's the last attack and it's a good thing that we're able to get the win and we still have okay they have a chance for an equalizer here so we have to defend this like our lives depend on it literally like our lives depend on it and that's the end good good save from andre there to save our asses in this match and yet another one day win we're not really scoring that many goals I mean, we're doing what it takes so we're doing exactly what we need to do to stay in that top four position speaking of top four position we are still fourth and we are quite a ways away from valencia it's really not that much just 
five points. And Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and Barcelona, I mean, they are pretty much gone unless they start flunking and losing matches. I don't really think that we can catch them. But let's just try and solidify our place in this fourth spot yet again. That's as much as we can do, to be honest. Next up, we have Deportivo Alaves. German and Helbig are already on an 87. These guys are absolutely crazy, to be honest. I brought in Flores, Batch, and Ziyech in the match for Donovan, Locatelli, and Rise, respectively. I'm going to be simming it, though, and let's hope that we are able to get a win. And we do. Zaracho and German get the goal for us. So round of 16 action coming up next. We have Marseille. And this is going to be... I mean, it's not the toughest of matches. I mean, thank God we're not going up against someone like Inter Milan or Bayern straight off the bat. And I just want to change the, quick, the kits real quick. Let's just give them their black. Or I think this is better. And I was saying, good thing we're not going against someone like Bayern or or Inter Milan or Juventus or one of those big clubs straight, straight off the bat. Let's just start small and hopefully we can get maybe to the quarterfinals or semi-finals. I mean, it's our first season in the Champions League and we are in round of 16. That's good enough as it is. So round of 16, first leg, it's going to be really tough, but it's not going to be as tensing as the second leg, to be honest. But we're just going to try our absolute best to do what it takes to get a win in this match. We're in our home stadium, so it's going to be a little bit easier for us to get this win. Alright, so Marseille starts and let's see if we're going to be able to keep position in this match. And we get the ball straight off the bat and let's start our attack. Okay, let's see what Donovan can do here. Hopefully you get it and you do, but just just wide. Can give it to Rise here who have a shot on goal and that is another really good save from their keeper all right we could have a counter attack here if everything works out and that's just that's just too much for Fonseca oh my god that was a fucking on goal right yeah, it was a fucking on goal I mean I, I I tried to get it out but for some reason he played it straight into the net and that's not how that's not how I that's not really how I wanted to start this like what the fuck Oh, it wasn't an own goal. I think it wasn't an own goal, though. Yeah, it was an own goal. That's that's sad. All right, that was a good opportunity there. I had to focus so much on that. And I mean, to be honest, we're the better team. Just that we're just really, really unlucky there and damn that was that was hard that was fucking hard but can can something happen here hopefully something can that was that was a really good opportunity i don't know why he played to the freaking ground and that just took a lot of the sting out of that shot and we are legit having chance after chance after chance here and it's nothing is just nothing is coming up for us Damn, that was that was really good. I got so fucking confused in defense there, and I mean that's that's basically what we get. All right, so we have a an opportunity here that might be good, and please get the shot on, and we just can't do that. All right, so we're at halftime, we're able to get that attack going. I mean, it, it could have been the best attack of the game, and if Fonseca was at the end of that, definitely would have scored. It's a really sad first half, to be honest. We've had we have we've had the most chances, we've had more possession, but we just weren't able to get get the goal that we the goals that we needed right rather and they were able to capitalize on both their opportunities okay that was a really good save okay they have a corner and this might be a good opportunity for us and it might so please just make your run and for the first touch the first touch killed us, killed us there and of course of course i mean it, it's a penalty like no doubt about that no no doubt to be honest but that that sucks all right so which direction oh my god i mean i went in the right direction but the keeper was was so slow for some reason i have no idea i'm not giving up though i mean there's still there's, there's still a chance that something might happen and of course okay so this is equals to a counter attack so let's hope that we can actually get one going please oh god Okay, that's good. Please score it. Oh my god, oh my god. How do you not fucking score that? Alright, so we have a good opportunity here. Fonseca, please. 
Thank you. Thank you. So we are back into this game. There's a chance that we are still going to be able to get two goals that are going to tie up tie us up and let's just hope that that is the case that was a really good goal from Ortega I'm really rushing right now to at least get get a really good opportunity here okay, so that is another good opportunity but German is right there please don't fuck it up and thank you so we are legit back into this match right now let's see if we can at least get that one goal that will set, set us up nicely for the second leg hopefully we actually can do that just defend as best as you can right now that was good and who's there German, please make that run. Who? No, no one is there, basically. No one is there right now. No one is there. No one is there. Okay, Reese, still there. Might be a chance. And um, no, just go straight into the keeper's goals. All right, we have two minutes to get a goal here. So I just want us to rush as much as possible right now. And someone, someone, please. Reese, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, oh my fucking god, that was the chance. That was the fucking chance. Why wasn't he? Oh god, I should have, I, I could have probably just passed. I could have probably just passed. But we we end the match just in one goal gap. So let's just hope that we can do as best as we should in the next leg. Second leg, rather. I'm not going to lie though, that was a really good effort from the guys in the second half. I mean, right at the dying minutes, we're able to come alive. And that's, I, I, I really don't want that to be happening. I want us to come alive right from the start of the match. I think they are fifth or sixth. They're right under Valencia or they're right under us. I'm not sure. But let's just prove to these guys that we are the better of the two teams from this city. I think the city is called Villarreal. I have no idea. And now we are at the Estadio de Cojetes. We have the match against our better rivals, Villarreal. We have played three matches and we have have won two of them and if we win this one that would mean we have won three of them so i mean our goal is to win this match because they are our rivals not just because of the league but because they are our rivals and i want us to just solidify our place as the best team in this part of spain so we are starting for taker kicks off and let's see what we can do in this match Alright, so that was a really good start. To be honest, I had to focus as much as I could really to get that. And it was a really good goal. I have no idea what Fonseca did at the beginning there. But, I mean, German was able to get on the end of that. Alright, so we have yet another opportunity for German here. Are you fast enough? You are-ish. And Fonseca just not able to get on the end of that. Alright, they have a corner. And this is a chance for a counter-attack. And let's hope that we actually do get the ball out. And we do, sort of. Uh, okay, what happens now? Okay, Rise is on the run, and can we get it to him? Yes, we do. And okay, that is brilliant. That is fucking brilliant. And he gets a goal for the team. And he's <sighs> finally, <laughs> we not have scored with him. And we are demolishing these guys in the first half. Two goals. And I have no idea why it was keeping the freaking place here. Sorry about that. Get the ball straight off the bat. And what's this? Chance for Fonseca. Really good fucking chance for Fonseca. And just like that. Fastest time we have scored three goals in this series. And it's against freaking Villarreal. That was beautiful. It was a really good way to get the ball straight from them immediately. And Locatelli did really well to find Fonseca in between those two defenders. And that was a really good goal. Good tackle, good, good, very good tackle, and we have a really good opportunity here. And German does get the goal. That was a really well worked goal. Four 0 in the first half against Villarreal. What the hell has happened to them? To be honest, I mean they have Coman. Have no idea what the fuck Coman is doing in their team, but that was a really, really dumb opportunity. Really dumb move from him. I mean to leave to leave Bayern and come to Villarreal, but I mean we are um, them. We are fucking these guys up. Okay, let's try and not concede in this match. That's that's my goal right now to not to not concede, and it looks like that's basically what these guys want to happen. And why the hell would you leave the ball? Why the hell would you just leave the ball? Okay, that was a good good save, good closing down for for from our team. And 
Uh, okay, that's the end of the first half. Good game from German, good game from Koteka. The front three have scored, and that's exactly what I want. German has done really, really well in this match. The conversion with 100%. That is, that is freaking crazy. And, I mean, we are in a very good position to win this match. I doubt that Villarreal will be able to score four goals. I mean, they're having really good attacks going, but I don't want us to concede any i want i want this to be a flawless victory so i brought stuart back into the match because i have zero idea what this guy is doing um lozan i have no idea what he was doing on that left wing okay that was a good good block and what the hell what the hell how how the hell does that freaking happen because i could have sworn i was not control fucking hell fucking hell i mean where with the freaking ball i could have sworn i wasn't controlling him but we have um this guy on the ball, uh, what direction? Of course, he goes that direction, and uh, we lose our Flores victory just like that with one stupid ass mistake at the back. We completely had that covered, but it just switched to the wrong fucking player and did the stand tackle, and now we have a taint in our victory. Okay, that was that was brilliant. That was brilliant to be able to stop that goal because that goal was coming. Okay, so this is a chance for German to get his hat trick and boom. Hat trick hero in German. Five goals against Villarreal. And I mean, the defender just got caught sleeping there. And, and Fonseca and this guy, and we see we're just able to pick him off. And that was that was brilliant. No way German would miss from there. I mean, he has missed a lot of opportunities like those recently. But I mean, bro just had to score that. Oh, that was that was cold. That was fucking cold. All right, we have German, kind of free here, but the pass was just a little bit off, and we did not get the counter attack we're looking for. Okay, do not focus up. Do not focus up, please. Who's there? Okay. Anybody there, please? Okay, that was that was fucking beautiful. Score it! Oh my god! How? Why is it so hard for this guy to just score those freaking power shots? And that was low and hard as well. Damn. I mean, Jamal was right beside us. We could have given him a chance to get a fourth goal, but I mean, a hat trick is, is already enough. All right, that was yet another good save from Van Dijk. We have one more opportunity for a goal in this match with a counter attack here from the corner let's just hope that the corner does go to our favor and it kind of does it kind of does oh whoops and crap i <laughs> don't do anything about that but that was a really good really good way to end this episode with a really huge win against our rivals 5-1 it could have been 5-0 if they didn't get that penalty really good game from german here and there you have a german hatred hero against villarreal so it was actually valencia that was closer to us real madrid is still winning their matches and they are still four points ahead of us but i mean we, we might still have a chance to get up to that third place position because we have over 10 games to play valencia is still right on our tail let's hope that we have i think we've already played them in the second half of the season but let's just hope that they lose in a couple of matches we cannot afford to lose or draw any matches to be honest because we absolutely need to stay in this top four spot sad we weren't able to get the win in the champions league against marseille but we still have the second leg to play we have to win that match by two goal difference to be able to go through unless we we go through on penalties or something like that but i really don't want to put that much on penalties but anyways thank you guys for watching this is the end of the episode if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace